terms of going to play on a naval ship? Um, I think the the honor of doing something like this is, is way beyond words can explain. For all the people that have fought and served or the people that, the veterans that are home, uh, just the things that they do, you know, they sacrifice their lives for us to, you know, play a ball game. And um, like I was saying before, I was telling someone um, to provide entertainment for them or, you know, to be a skate for uh, them for a couple hours, you know, to get some excitement out of their life. And they don't have to worry about ducking and dodging bullets is pretty cool. So um, the excitement that that's built around it is, is I mean, it's unexplanatory. Has Derek mentioned anything? Obviously, both his parents, and it probably means a little bit more to him than anybody else. Um, I remember uh, Derek was just telling me uh, the week of madness that they were doing a story on his father being in the military or something like that. Nothing really about his mom, but um, that's about it. I mean, Derek really hasn't said anything. I mean, everyone's new. Everyone knew Derek's parents was in the army, but but that's about it. Obviously, playing outside, you know, on a ship. Uh, there's a lot of distractions that go into that. Uh, how are you guys planning on kind of, you know, focusing on just playing the game? Uh, that's that's one of those things you can't really practice for. I mean, unless you really go outside and play. Um, but I think you know, just you know, settling down and do the things we do every day in practice. You know, doing the basics. You know, try not to get outside of our element too much. Try not to let the environment affect us too much. It's, it's basically just like a road game in the Big East. The environment's crazy, you know, people are screaming, things like that. Now you got water crashing up against something and maybe a few birds. Uh, so that's better than, you know, 20,000 people screaming at you. But I know uh, it's the same thing, you know, just got to buckle down and, you know, uh, get a win. Well, the fact that the game is outside obviously uh, affects the game plan at all, seeing as shots might be a little bit more errant with wind or whatnot. Probably, most likely. If you're not inside. I mean, I mean, just the scenery behind it. You're not used to looking at probably in an ocean or a lake behind you. So not having anybody behind the backboard. I mean, everything will be different, but how quickly we adapt will will dictate how we play and how the game will go. Talk a little bit about starting off of Ohio State. It's pretty much a prime Big Ten opponent right away. Yeah, um, but I, I think that's a good thing for our team. You know, um, a lot of people think that our team isn't as great without DJ and Jay, but we have a lot of returning guys that are back, you know. So we got a lot of experience under our belt and things like that. And starting off with somebody like Ohio State that whose credibility is through the roof, if you know I mean, you mention the name all across the country. I think it's a big thing. It, it lets you know where you're at as a team. It can be a confidence booster and it can be a confidence shatterer, but you know, to be the best, you got to beat the best. And you know, that's one of the best teams out there. I mean, that they have ranked preseason. So I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, you know, I like playing teams like that because, I mean, I like playing against the best players, and I'm sure my teammates do as well. What's the biggest threat that Ohio State poses right now? we got to go for you guys. Is there film on them yet? We're going to watch film in a minute, but I can say from previous years and watching and just being a Wisconsin kid, you know, growing up around the Big Ten, uh, Ohio State has always had a lot of size uh, that I can remember. Um, defensively, I know they got the one kid. Kraft is really good on the ball. But other than that, their size is, has always played a tremendous role in, in their recruiting. Their, their, their bigs are, are really, like, really big. I guess that's why it's the Big Ten. But um, that, that's all I can think of right about now. I just saw in time this preseason All-American, six, seven, tries to play the three and four. Kind of like you, there's no sense going to match up to it at some point in that game. Looking forward to that? Definitely. Um, I remember playing against Deshaun when I was um, in eighth grade. He was in seventh grade. We played at the speech tournament. Uh, he was playing up, so I played against him. I don't, I don't know if my team won or not, but I do remember playing him. So it'd be good to see him again, uh, see how his game is elevated. But you know, it'd definitely be a challenge, and I'm always up for a challenge. Is that it? Thank you.